Hello everyone, thank you all for joining. We are going to wait just another second to make sure everyone is able to get signed into the webinar, but we will begin very soon. While we're waiting, feel free to use the questions box or the chat box to message us and let us know where you're watching from. We are actually located in downtown Rock Hill, South Carolina. We may be very close to some of you. All right. Let's go ahead and get started. Now, I want to thank you all again for joining me. We are so excited to have you here for our webinar on how to encourage your holiday recruits. At this point, you should be able to hear me clearly. You should be able to see our screen. And if at any point in the webinar you have any technical difficulties or if you need any assistance, you're welcome to message us using the questions box on your GoToWebinar control panel. You can also utilize this at the very end of the webinar during our Q&A. But for now, I'd like for you to use it to let me know if you have used UnitWise in the past or if you're currently with UnitWise. Um, even if you've never used UnitWise before, we would just love to know who we have in the audience today. And while you guys get those answers in, I'll give you just a brief background for anyone who's not familiar. My name is Christina. I'm one of the heroes here at UnitWise. And it actually launched in 2009. UnitWise was created by a director to help other directors manage their businesses. And through customer feedback, we've been able to help thousands of directors and consultants. I want to thank everyone who messaged in. And we'll go ahead and begin. The holiday season not only presents an amazing opportunity to boost your sales, but also a great chance to grow your team. For many of us, it's a season to be thankful and spend time with family and friends, while also preparing for the upcoming holidays. Many women will be looking for additional income in anticipation of the added expenses the holidays bring, while also needing the flexibility and freedom to make time for festive events and celebrations with family and friends. To help you prepare for recruiting, I'm excited to introduce our VIP host, Independent Sales Director, Charlotte Lowbanks. Charlotte's mission is to enrich the lives of women. She has a vision of helping women live their best lives internally, externally, and eternally. She loves the fact that she gets to change women's lives by helping them look beautiful inside and out. Charlotte used to be extremely shy when she began her Mary Kay business, but the longer she worked her business, she learned to become a bold person. Advancing in her Mary Kay business to the position of an independent sales director has allowed her to lead by example and help build outstanding leaders that dominate. Today, Charlotte will be sharing tips on growing your team this holiday season. So without further ado, let's jump in. Hello, my name is Charlotte Lowe Banks. And Unawise asks me to talk about how to encourage holiday recruits. One of the things that I like to use every year is the Mary Kay Christmas Pilot Program or Mary Kay Christmas Club Program, Holiday Club Program, whatever you want to call it. That's what I like to use every year. Just as retailers hire holiday seasonal help, to help them with their retail sales during the Christmas holidays. As retailers, we can do the same as well. We would have holiday recruits. What that entails is you would contact your family, your friends, and your customers and let them know that you are recruiting holiday recruits. People that want to make money during the holiday, they will join your team for two to three months during this time. They will come in and you will show them how they can make money during the holiday season. They would have open houses during this next two to three months. They will have a holiday coffee or a Mary Kay Jingle and Mingle event. They would get several holiday silent hostesses 
that will sell for them in getting outside orders. They can go to a small business and provide holiday gifts for the employer to give their employees. They could do beauty experiences, but as long as they're willing to work two, four, to six hours per week, not per day or every time they would normally go in to a part-time job, they would be working two, four, possibly six hours or more. But as a holiday recruit, they could work their business in the evenings or on the weekends if they still have a full-time job. You would give them different activities, what it would take to make money, and they can decide how much time they are willing to spend to make the extra holiday cash that they want to make for their family to use for holiday sales, holiday gifts or for paying bills, whatever they want to use those funds for. More than likely, once a person starts and they see that they're making a lot of money, they are having fun and how easy it is, and especially if they get recruits of their own during the times that they're having a holiday open house or, or beauty experience or a holiday coffee, more than likely, after the holiday is over with, they will continue their Mary Kay business and continue recruiting if that's what they are doing during the holiday season because they will see how much fun it is. One of the things I did years ago was to go online and I looked up Mary Kay Christmas Pilot Program. And I've seen it as club program as well. But you can look that up, and there are a plethora of flyers already made up. They have different activities on them, so you can pick and choose which one that you like the best that you would like to promote, or you can take bits of information from different flyers and create your own. But you can put those in the sacks of your customers when they reorder, or call your family and friends and let them know what you are promoting during this time of having holiday recruits. People who want to try Mary Kay for two to three months to kind of stick their toe in the water, so to speak. But people who want to make extra holiday cash without having to go out and get a part-time job because they can make a lot more as a consultant during the holiday season than they could make working a seasonal job. So that's my take on how to get in, encourage holiday recruits. The holiday pilot program has worked and I absolutely love it and I use it every year. So best of luck to you and happy holidays and holiday selling. Thank you. All right. We just want to say a big thank you to Charlotte for being the VIP host for today's webinar. And we want to thank you to her for sharing this amazing advice. I know that all of you watching will benefit from it. So now that you're prepared to do some recruiting this holiday season, let's look at how you can keep track of your new team members with some bonus content. We'll cover unit and team member management, their birthdays and anniversaries, their weekly accomplishments, and tracking loans and borrows of your inventory. To begin our bonus content, we'll go into our unit-wise account. For any of you who aren't as familiar, this is the dashboard to our director complete plan. So this does have access to all of our unit-wise features. And with unit-wise, not only can you track your inventory, customers, sales, and accounting details, but you can also track your team or unit members. So please sync them into your account by going to Customers, Customer Center, and selecting the Import Sync option then New and Touch Consultant. Here you can even set them up on AutoSync to sync every week, Saturday at midnight, or monthly on the 1st. 
You can even follow the same steps to sing their anniversaries and their birthday. Then go to My Unit, Unit slash Team Members, to view your team's profiles. You can customize their profiles with everything from basic information, such as an email address, home address, or even phone number. their team building detail. For example, when they were recruited, their consultant number, and their career progress. Not to mention, if this team member was recruited by one of your current team members, you can even link her to her recruiter. To link the recruit and recruiter, you must first have the recruiter's profile listed within your UnitWise account. You'll also need their name and consultant number. Then you can enter those details on the recruit's profile under Recruit Number. And Recruiter Name. Once these details have been added, simply save them. And now if we go to Amelia's profile and her team building, we can see that Jillian is listed as one of her recruits. But that's not all. You can also keep track of your ex-team members, potential recruits, adoptees, and even their consultant birthdays and consultant anniversaries, helping you to save time and never miss any of these important events in your team members' lives. When it's time to review your consultant's weekly accomplishments, simply go to In Touch What, which is again under our My Unit menu tab, Here you can sync your consultant's weekly accomplishment information from InTouch by selecting the week and sync now, helping you to save time and stay organized by managing everything in one place. As you gain recruits, chances are they may need to borrow a few items as they are growing their business. And of course, you'll want to help them, but how are you going to track that change in your inventory? Well, it's easy. Just select Inventory in the menu at the top and choose Loan and Borrow. Here we'll select to create a loan and borrow and enter some details about the transaction, such as whether the product was loaned out to someone or borrowed from them, and whether that person was a team member or an other contact. For example, we'll loan Amelia the TimeWise Ultimate Miracle Set 3D Normal Dry. From here you can continue to customize details such as the quantity and even add more products if you'd like. Once you're ready, simply save your loan and borrow. UnitWise then removes the product from your inventory and will display the loan until it's invoiced or the item is returned. Now there's no need to worry about inaccurate inventory or keeping up with loaned product. So now that you're prepared to grow your team this holiday season, let's begin our Q&A.
And as I mentioned at the beginning, for any of you who have questions, feel free to at this time enter those in the questions box on your control panel. We'll wait just a moment for those questions to start to come in. Okay, so Sarah would like to know if a consultant or a customer doesn't return a loaned item, can she invoice them for it? And you absolutely can. We'll move over back into our UnitWise account and select Inventory, Loan and Borrow to view our current loans and borrows. Now, for example, if we had loaned Amelia that product and we know that she's not going to return it, we'd like to invoice her for it. Simply select Invoice This, the single I, under the product in question. Now we've begun an invoice, and you'll simply save this invoice as you normally would, changing any details as needed. Margaret would like to know if she's not going to return a borrowed item, can she invoice herself, and how would that work? And that's another great question. Again, we'll choose Inventory, Loan and Borrow to view those loaned and borrowed items. And let's see. So for Heather Folsom, we've borrowed the Perfecting Concealer. We can invoice ourselves by selecting the single I to the right of that product in that transaction. We've now created an invoice that will show under her name, but as you can see, it is a negative grand total, which essentially will add a credit to her account, allowing us to pay her back for the item essentially. Jen would like to know what to do if a team member in her account steps down from being a team member. So you have a couple of options. We'll pop back over to my unit and unit slash team members. So for example, let's see, if Robin were to decide that she's no longer going to be a team member, you can either convert her back to a customer or convert her to an ex-team member, depending on how you'd like to track her. And Jane would like to know how she can get started with her UnitWise account. And that's another fantastic question. To get started with UnitWise, simply go to UnitWise.com. That's www.UnitWise.com. And in the top right corner, you'll see the option to register in yellow. From here, you'll enter some basic information and get started with your account. It does look like the questions are starting to slow down a little bit. So if any more come up, feel free to contact us by going to unitwise.com. You can email us at heroes at unitwise.com, and you can even reach out on all of our social media platforms at unitwise. And be sure to follow so that you never miss out on any of the upcoming events and learning opportunities that we have to offer. I'd like to thank you all so much for joining us today. We are so excited to share all of these amazing tips with you. Thank you.